Hi, my name's Theodore, and this is me six days away from top surgery. Hi, my name's Theodore, and this is me four days away from top surgery. Hi, my name's Theodore, and this is me two days away from top surgery. My name is Theodore, and this is me one day post-op from top surgery. Hi, everybody. Um, I thought that I would take a minute to sit down and uh, just talk for a little while. Um, for those of you who see my other videos, I have my testosterone updates. Um, let's see, I will be two years on T in April of this year. It is currently February 24th. Yes, February 24th. Um, yesterday, I had top surgery with Dr. Haruko Okada in Columbus, Ohio. I cannot say enough good things about Dr. Okada. Her and her team have been amazing the entire process from my consultations to my phone updates to my appointments pre-op to, you know, the surgery to everything. Her and her team have been absolutely phenomenal the entire way. Oh, you can see my little ponytail. I promise I'm not bald. I have a ponytail. Um, <laughs> you can still see the markings where she drew on me here. You can see the thick padding to keep me nice and together and safe. Um, yeah, I just thought that I would take a minute to talk about my top surgery process, talk about how I'm feeling. I know it's only the second day, but I feel great. Um, I'm on a scale of one to 10, I would rate my pain at two. Uh, they sent me home with prescriptions to help manage the pain. And I'm also taking Tylenol between my narcotic prescriptions. Um, yeah, I feel great. I can get up and walk around just fine. I can eat just fine, go to the bathroom just fine. Um, None of my piercings closed up during surgery, which is a plus for me because I had retainers in for my nose, but I didn't have retainers in for my ears or for my lip. But, you know, they didn't close up. My jewelry went through just fine afterwards. Um, the surgeons, uh, we, we arrived at around 6 in the morning, and the surgery took place at 7.45. I remember checking in and filling out some paperwork. I remember the IV in my hand. You can just barely see the little dot where the IV was. I don't have any bruising, which I'm grateful for. Um, I remember the IV. I remember the anesthesiologists, which were phenomenal, amazing human beings. They helped me relax. They took a lot of my nerves away. Um, they were super funny, super personable, interactive. And uh, I remember my anesthesiologist saying, all right, we got the sleepy juice coming at you. And he did a shot of something in my IV, uh, my mom gave me a hug, and then I remember being wheeled into the surgery room. I remember what it looks like in my head, but then I was out, and I don't remember being out. I didn't have any dreams or anything. Just the next thing I knew, I was slowly regaining my consciousness in the recovery area. Um, I was nauseous for about 20 or so minutes, but I had a nausea patch on my neck, and I had taken some nausea medication they gave me before I went under. Um, and they gave me alcohol pads to sniff, and then I didn't feel nauseous anymore. Oh, you can see one of my cats in the background. Hi, buddy. Um, yeah, it was... My, my throat's a little sore because they had to use a breathing tube while I was under. Um, you can see the cats doing zoomies behind me. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, my throat's a little sore. Um, the f Yesterday... My chest felt like one big cat scratch, like when you get scratched by a cat and it stings. That's what my whole chest felt like. But today I'm only having minimal pain at my drain sites, no pain in the front of my chest. Um, yeah, it's it's really manageable. I was so scared I would be incapacitated and like posted up on my bed for ever. But you know, I'm able to get out of bed, get into bed just fine. I'm able to get to the bathroom on my own. I'm able to eat and not feel nauseous. Um, yeah, it, it's an amazing experience so far. Even though, you know, I don't know what I'm going to look like underneath, I can still see that I'm, that I'm flat. And words truly cannot describe just how correct and how right I feel and how happy I am to be, you know, so fortunate as to be able to have the gender-affirming surgery that I've needed for so long. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop this clip here and I will continue to make update videos as the days go on. Uh, today is February 24th and I get my drains out on March 1st, 
so I will try and get a video of that to put into this video. Um, if not, then, you know, I'll just post an after picture or take some photos of my results or something. Can you guys stop doing your zoomies? My goodness. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say for now. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next update. Okay, so today I am two days post-op from top surgery. Um, I'm still in my bandages. I'll be in my bandages until March 1st. Um, I'm posted up on my couch in my bedroom for recovery, and I, I'm doing pretty good today. Um, I can eat on my own. I can get down to the bathroom on my own. I can go up and down the stairs on my own. Um, I keep pacing my room because I keep getting so bored. Um, I'm taking it easy, though. I'm not making any sudden movements or pushing myself too hard. Um, I brushed my hair on my own today, and I put my headband on my own today. I was able to reach my arms up high enough to do that without any pain. Um, I've got some discomfort around my drain sites, but the front of my chest is completely fine. Um, I'm just experiencing little to no pain, some discomfort, and extreme, extreme boredom. Alrighty, um... Today is day four, post-op from top surgery, and this has been the worst day yet. Um, my pain and discomfort is worse today than it has been the other three days, but I've heard that once it's the worst, you know, you can only go up from there, so it should be better tomorrow. Um, I'm staying on top of my pain medicine. I'm still getting around just fine, going up and down the stairs just fine. Um, the only thing is, I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Like, I, I only have so much I can do right now, and I only have so many games I can play, and I don't want to spend money on more games. Um, so I'm so bored, dude. That's like something nobody, you know, took the time to prepare me for, I guess. Like, because I, I posted a bunch of stuff in the groups that I'm in, asking questions, you know, what are your essentials? What are you do right after surgery, how did he keep yourself occupied, but nobody told me just how bored I would be for this first week, and it sucks. Okay, um, I lied. Uh, it's day five, I think. All my days are ran together. I had surgery last Thursday, it's Monday today, and my pain is worse today than it was yesterday. It's like a five or six out of ten, only on my left side, though, um, my right side doesn't feel like fucking anything, but my left side stings really, really bad, and it feels so sore. It feels like I got hit by a bus, um, but only on my left side. So I've been, like, when I'm sleeping, like, flat on my back, I've been kind of shifting my weight to the right to take pressure off the left side, and that helps some. But, um, yeah, despite the pain, I would not trade it for the world, and I'm so excited it's Monday now, and on Wednesday I get my bandages off and I get my drains out, and uh, my dad and my boyfriend are coming with me, so I'm going to see if one of them can record a video so I can kind of cut it in, um, um, I'm on Percocet right now, I can't think, <laughs> um, uh, so I can, like, splice it into here so you guys can see my, my big reveal, um, yeah, that's, today's going to be boring, it's fucking like 11 in the morning and I'm already bored out of my mind so yeah back to bed we go okay um I just woke up from a 15 hour sleep because um yesterday the pain was worse than it had been at all my muscles were aching I was so sore I felt like my incisions were splitting open, they, they're not, there was no blood or anything, but it felt that way, and I, I think I overdid myself on the days where I was like, oh yeah, pain is a 2 out of 10, I'm fine, I think I just overdid myself, and uh, it finally caught up to me, but I'm taking it easy today, yesterday I went to bed at like 5pm, and then I woke up only when my alarms went off to take my medicine, and it's like 8.30 in the morning the next day, and I I just woke up, so I had I had a bomb-ass nap. Um, <laughs> it's more of a coma than a nap, but um, yeah, today, I fingers crossed, today's gonna be better. Um, I can 
I can feel again. Like I feel some pressure sensation when I'm just like chilling. I just rest my hand here and I can kind of feel it. Um, and tomorrow I get my drains out. So I've just got one more day till I get my drains out and then I can see my chest for the first time. I get my drains out in five hours and I am so excited. I can't wait to see what I look like under all this. Um, my cats are playing with a plastic bag. I'm so excited. I'm over the fucking moon. Um, I have full faith in Dr. Okada, so I know that, I know that my results are gonna be good. I'm just, I'm so excited to see what I look like. Okay, here we go. We're going. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so itchy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> so, you're able to shower today. Okay. No scrubbing or washing with a loofah or a washcloth okay. for the next two weeks. Because that is going to be the um, the time that you're taking care of the nipple mm -hmm. grafts, okay? So, for two weeks, morning and evening, you are going to... Um, you're gonna put your non-stick galls and your bacitracin on your nipples mm -hmm. two times a day for two weeks, okay? okay. Then, Let's look. holy shit! Crazy. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Uh, I want to freak out so bad, but I can't freak out yet. <laughs> holy crap! Uh, oh. Oh my god. Um, so then once you it's have, amazing. once you have your, um, you're going to do your scar gel and your silicone sheeting mm -hmm. on the incision lines and you're going to do that two times a day for four to six months. Okay. That's what's going to give you the best, um, the best outcome on mm -hmm. the scarring. Okay. Holy God. That looks amazing. Wow. You're just hiding over here in the corner. Are you nervous? I'm a little squeamish. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look away. <laughs> You're good. I told you I was going to be kind of like messy. I'm here for emotional support. Oh my god, go. that looks amazing. Me too. <laughs> awesome. Are you happy, bud? Yes, I'm so happy. That looks good. so good. Good. So who do you um, have with you today? I have my dad and my boyfriend. Okay. What's dad's name? Dad is Zach and Hi. boyfriend is Zen. All right. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice I'm to meet Alex. you. Hello. Kind of funny, I undressed you before I introduced myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> should, have, should have been hanging out months ago. <laughs> <laughs> should I lay back or? No, you're totally fine. Okay. Oh, was that it? No. Okay. Alright, go ahead and place your arm all the way down. This drain is out. Oh, that didn't feel like anything. Nice. What the hell? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that was so weird. <laughs> so what is drain site care like? Nothing. Nothing? So you're going to have some drainage, some oozing. Okay. Probably for the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay. I'm going to place your arm down all the way against mm -hmm. your side. Um, I'm going to put balls on there. They're already on there right now. But, um, <laughs> you'll have, you can just sleep with a ball. You don't have to put a band-aid or anything on them. Okay. Um, do you want to stand up and look at your chest in the sure. mirror? And while you do that, I'm going to go grab Dr. Okay, Apata. So. She's going to come in and um, go over your pathology, mm -hmm. um, things like that with you, let you know how those came back. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'll get y'all wrapped back up. We'll go over the care kind of again. I know I mentioned it as I'm undressing everything, mm -hmm. but I'll go over everything again, show you how to do it. Okay. We'll go from there. All right. Okay? Mirror is right here behind you if you okay. want to come over to the mirror. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to I wanna cry. Like, I feel like it's coming, but it's not coming. That looks so good oh my god I was so worried about my scars but like it like it looks like just how I pictured it <laughs> that looks amazing I'm happy for you bud <laughs> that looks so good yeah. I have more like pec definition than I thought I would I thought it'd be like <laughs> four flat <laughs> that looks so good oh my 
my god. <laughs> I, I'm, getting awesome, light, I'm getting lightheaded. 